Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. Today I shall be discussing how to configure a Cisco 1841 router as a DHCP server. So in order to carry out this experiment, we require one LAN, LAN setup and to which we will be connecting and to this LAN we shall connect a router. So make the LAN setup first, we will take two PCs in the LAN, so I will select the end devices, PC0 and take one more PC, PC1. So these two PCs, I shall connect it to the switch, select the switch. connect this connect this fine to this LAN we shall connect the router 1841 what are the different steps here in order to make this Cisco 1841 router as a DHCP server in my previous experiments I have shown one such experiment wherein we are you configuring the DHCP service there what we have done is we have taken a server and that server is going to provide us the DHCP service. It was automatically assigning the IP addresses to all the PCs that are there in the network. Similarly here, now we are making the router as the DHCP server and this router has to assign the IP addresses to all the PCs that are connected in this network. So instead of two, let me take two more PCs so that you can see in what sequence the IP addresses get assigned. So I'll add PC2 and PC3 also fine see always need not be PCs you can take laptops and other devices also other end devices and you can see that how this um, IP addresses get assigned automatically by the DHCP server so very simple just few steps are here we need to configure few things here in the router and this router what is the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 okay let me write that in the label also now. so this is the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of the router so what are the different steps you need to carry out here in this experiment the first step is you need to assign an IP address to this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of this router click here config I want to assign the IP address as 192.168.0 30.1 right so let us check the subnet mask has appeared itself as I said in my previous session there are two ways to assign the IP address either you can go to the config mode and write here okay otherwise you can go to the CLI mode and type in this manner like in one of my previous experiments I have done in this manner only to assign the IP address to the interface so these are the two ways now we have used this method but it, uh, after you write the IP address make the port status on so that you can check here it will appear like this the interface changed state to up the interface is up now so close this this is first step so what is the first step assigning IP address to the router interface next is you need to define the DHCP service and also you need to give the range of addresses which you do not want to include this is an additional thing if you want you can include this command line let us do that click to this router go to the CLI okay let me keep this window to the side press enter so already you are in the config mode now we want to go back so we will type the command exit and we'll come to the configuration mode here so in this global configuration mode what is that you have to type the command is service what service you want from the server DHCP type like this service DHCP then you need to type one more command line IP DHCP right and the command is pool and you are defining one pool pool 1 from this pool 1 the IP addresses need to be assigned to all the devices that you have connected here in this LAN. There are four devices. So you need to give the network address here. From that network only the IP addresses will be selected. So the, the command is network. Type the network address 192.168.0. .1 
30.0 so we are selecting this network because already for the interface of the router i have given 192.168.30.1 from the same pool i want to get the ip addresses assigned to all the other pcs also so the command line is network type the network address followed by the subnet mask press enter type one more command line default router you have to give here the ip address of the router interface 30.1 and dns server So for this DNS server also, what is that the IP address? Same thing, 192.168.30.1 and then exit. As I already said, if you don't want uh, to include some addresses from this pool, you can specify that range. Normally, if the starting address is 192.168.30.0, if this is the network address, then the DHCP server will start assigning from 192.168.30.1, 192.168.30.2 like this. Suppose if you want to exclude one range of IP addresses, that time you can give the command as IP DHCP excluded address, excluded address, so I am not interested in getting these IP addresses 192.168.30.1 up till 192.168.30.10. So I want to exclude these 10 addresses. Let it get assigned from 192.168.30.11 onwards to all my PCs, PC0, PC1, PC2 and PC3 in the network. So these are the different steps you need to configure in the router. Once you do this, close this window. Now you need to verify whether the IP addresses have got assigned or not. So we will do like this and let me write this label. Normally I have the habit of writing the IP addresses for all the interfaces and the devices on the screen. So FA0 slash 0. What was the IP address that we assigned? 192.168.30.1. So this is the IP address for the interface. Okay. Now let us check whether the IP addresses are assigned to all these four PCs or not. So click to PC, go to desktop, go to IP config. So by default static will appear now you have to click to DHCP. See look here DHCP request successful and the IP address that got assigned is 192.168.30.11. Why from 11? Because we have already written in the command that exclude 192 exclude the IP addresses from 192.168.30.1 to uh, 30.10. That's why it will start assigning from 11. And you can check here all these things got automatically assigned. Default gateway we had given there in the router and the DNS server for this PC. So the IP addresses for the default gateway and the DNS server got assigned automatically along with the IP address of the device. Now 30.11 what should be for PC1 it should be 30.12 right. So we will check yes 30.12. Then what is that for PC2? It should be 30.13. Yes, 192.168.30.13. Finally, we have one more PC in the network. So we'll check for this also. It should be 30.14. fourteen. So this way, you can add any number of PCs here in this 
LAN and try to see that whether the router which you have configured as a DHCP server is functioning correctly or not. So this is all about the experiment. Hope this session is useful to you all. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.